Hello. Much like everybody else in this planet, we are in the midst of a global pepperoni pan pizza. <laughs> and I've been trying to find ways to keep myself entertained that don't involve socializing. And one of those ideas, activities, whatever, was me trying to make a medieval Renaissance dress, specifically one that Cersei Lannister would wear whilst walking around King's Landing with a goblet of wine in her hand. And I had this idea whilst perusing through Goodwill and I found these beautiful drapes and they were gold and red, which are the colors of the Lannister house. And I said with the unearned confidence of somebody who's watched way too many YouTube videos, I can make this into a dress. Of course you can. That's gonna be no problem. Of course. So I bought them, I took them home and I massacred these drapes. <laughs> I committed a sin against cosplay and fashion and anyone who's really sewn a dress. And to Game of Thrones. And to Game of Thrones to top it all off, man. I should have done Cersei better. Apologies to Lena Headey. Yeah. And so it was after I showed this dress to my friend Michael, who actually knows how to sew, that he was very much not impressed and he bought me a pattern because when I originally tried to make the dress, I just kind of did it from whatever I felt was right in the moment. I didn't have a pattern. I didn't even measure stuff. Much like your baking. Much like my baking. I kind of just, just went wherever the mood took me and um, I ran into a lot of problems. So, um, he got me this dress pattern. So I'm gonna try and make an actual medieval dress pattern, not a dress pattern, but like a dress. And same hopefully, difference. And same difference and redeem myself from the catastrophe that I made, committed the sin of that horrible cosplay. Atone for those sins. Please. I have to atone for those sins because I can't sleep well knowing that I made that monstrosity. I'm gonna show it to you. So this was the first attempt at the medieval gown. I, there's just, there's just so much room for improvement. Really an astronomical amount. <laughs> so my original inspiration was this dress. I'm gonna figure out how to put in a, a photo on top of the video, so it'll be fun. I'm gonna put it here. I love that. And in Game of Thrones, she had this like really luxurious like red dress with like a gold metal like corset and she had these like long sleeves and like the long ends of the sleeves and it looks so cool and because I didn't measure anything, um, it obviously didn't work out that way. Also possibly because I used um, curtains or drapes. You used pure drapery. Yes. And so, first of all, I don't even know what's going on here with this corset. It's the sleeves for me. These, yeah, these the wings. bat wing cape moments were actually supposed to be sleeves. But because I didn't measure, I can't close the sleeves because they don't fit. <laughs> and then I also don't know how to sew, like, nice, like, necklines. It looked like I was just looking at my boobs. <laughs> you sure did look like that. Sure did. But like, I just used elastic and it made this like really, it just doesn't sit right. And then the original dress also doesn't have this like gold panel in the front, but because again, I didn't measure, I ran out of fabric for the skirt and I said, I can just put a panel in the front of gold and it'll fit, it'll work. It doesn't look great. It's not a look. It's not a look. Also, this isn't even a dress. This is a skirt with a shirt tucked into it that I made. No finished edges. Not a single finished edge to be found. And this again is just elastic. Because I don't know how to make things for sure. my size. Because again, no patterns, no measurement. I just went real big and said elastic will fix it all. But you tried. And like... I did try. The corset is the only thing that I'm like kind of happy with how it came out because like I've never done boning before and Um, 
audience for the first time, which was kind of fun. That's fun. But overall, it's just a mess. I had this beautiful vision in my mind of a long blonde Cersei wig and like having this like beautiful dress with the long renaissance sleeves that had those like, you know, the like, oh, bell the bell sleeves, but they're bell really dramatic. Floor. The, yeah, the like floor length bell sleeves. And it just, it, as you can see, did not happen. So I'm going to try to make him proud and um, redeem this monstrosity and just kind of just do better. So this is the first attempt and um, I'm going to take it off now because it's actually very itchy. All right. I love shopping at Goodwill so much. It is so much cheaper than buying fabric at like Michael's or Joann's. And if I mess up like I did with the first dress, it's not like I'm wasting expensive fabric. I'm just wasting fabric that somebody already wanted to get rid of and it's at Goodwill. And it was weird. I found pretty much the exact same drape as I found the first time five weeks ago when I first attempted this. So I guess people just have a lot of these drapes and they like donating it in my area, which is fine. That worked out for me. I could try again with the same fabric and hopefully have a much better result than what you just saw a couple seconds ago. I have attained the freshly washed Goodwill tablecloth and drapes, and now I'm gonna sew the dress. First, I need to find the dress pattern, which I thought I had. Okay, this has to be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I only noticed that I did this when I was looking back at the video to edit. And when I opened the pattern, I just threw the instructions on the counter, like right there, they are. It's in like, on the counter but I forgot that they existed and there were so many times during this process where there weren't instructions and I didn't know that there were instructions and so I just had to guess what piece went where and how to sew these things together I literally had the instructions but I thought I didn't and so I didn't use them and I spent so long trying to figure out how to put this together when I could have easily just read the instructions <laughs> I was actually able to start and finish the sewing of the dress in one day, which was great. And let me just say that the sleeves were the most difficult part. I still don't understand how those sleeves were supposed to get attached to the bodice. Maybe I should have just read the instructions. Maybe it was explained in there. I'll check back and see if it was actually explained in there. But the sewing of the sleeves was easy. It's just connecting them was a nightmare. Uh, I also ended up running out of the gold fabric, which was the tablecloth, and I went back and I couldn't find any more of it, uh, even though I saw it last time I went. So I didn't have enough fabric to make the belt that was originally in the pattern. So I just took a piece of like scrap gold fabric that I had left over and tied it around my waist for the belt. So when you see it in the final clips, uh, that's not what it's actually supposed to look like. And I also didn't buy a zipper because I don't know how to attach a zipper and I don't think I have the proper needles to go through the like thickness of the zipper fabric. So I just used an old bra clip to close the dress. Um, so this is the finished dress. This wig is for a Daenerys costume, so it's not as like gold and blonde as it should be, so don't pay attention to that. But I'm very happy with how everything came out. The sleeves are like really long and dramatic, which is what I was going for. Much improved from my last one, right? Extremely yes. improved. The only problem is that um, they're very tight and I've already ripped a hole. Oh no. Oh, no. Can you see? I mean, you not sure can. You are, are yeah, I you didn't, guys. I had no idea and until you just exposed yourself. I, I did just expose myself. And like, I also didn't buy a zipper and so I had to cut it open in the back. So Oh no, I, a, I we saw the hole. There is a hole. Oh. We surely saw that hole so earlier. we're just not gonna look at the back either. Yes, yeah, so as long as you don't look at the underarms and the back, we're good. It's a great dress. <laughs> like Do I look graceful? You look like Captain Jack Sparrow running on a beach. <laughs> I'm fucking deceased. Okay, the colors are stunning in the light. Oh, 
I am so glad that they had these like this tablecloth and these drapes available in these colors. Brought and the pattern is like, you. I don't know if you can okay, see the pattern, yeah. but it's so pretty and like royal me, and that is dog poop. Um, oh, I'm crouching for this. It's so like yeah, luxurious. You definitely get it. <laughs> Let's get the red. Oh yes, okay. It's like a much more it's subtle, subtle, but like you but can it's see gracious. it. It is. And then I was able to utilize the like part where you put the actual pole in. So I didn't even have to worry about finishing the edges. Thank God. If I ever go back out to like clubs and bars and stuff, this is 100% the outfit I'm wearing. Oh yeah. I hope I made Michael proud. I think that you did. I mean, he's probably going to be disappointed in the fact that I didn't read the instructions. Well, you did well for not reading the instructions. I did really well for not reading the instructions. There's instructions? There was instructions in the dress pattern. She was like, there's no instructions. And, and then there actively were instructions. It, it's the Air Temple Island colors. Oh. Master Ten Tenzin? Yes. Master Tenzin from like the knees down with the, with the burks and the colors. Oh, for sure. I don't know what to say for like an outro. <laughs>